Hey, Jeff Jantz here back in Jantzer Studios with our set design and construction project. I'm going to take a little break today from the set design and construction and work a little bit more on the studio. There's still a lot of reverb in here and I'm going to see if I can dampen down this echo just a little bit more with some foam panels on this back wall. So we're going to see how we can do this. So now a lot of people are using command strips to put these up, but since we're in the middle of an outbreak and it's not really wise to go to the store and I don't have command strips, I'm just going to try and staple it to the ceiling. So we'll see how that goes. Let's get it started. So believe it or not, there are 50 in this little pack here. I'm going to unbox them and see how this goes. It's kind of cool how they expand. Now the package says that it could take up to 24 hours to fully expand. I hope it doesn't take that long because I'm kind of anxious to get started and put these things in. And 10 minutes later, I think we're good. While I was waiting, I rigged up this little adapter on the end of my staple gun so that the staples don't go in too far and it seems to work pretty good. All right, here we go. Wait a minute, who put those on there? Oh, it was me. Guess I need to rip that last row off and start over again. Okay, there we go. That was a pretty quick, easy job. I found that it made it a lot easier when I snapped a chalk line every foot. So if you're trying this in your studio, I would recommend using that chalk line as much as possible. I ended up using the remaining 14 off on the sides. So now I think between this and the acoustic panels that I have hanging from the ceiling, that's made a pretty good difference, even though I might still have a little ways to go. So tune in next time and we'll get back into the set construction. Thank <laughs> you.